So anybody that does even a little bit of gaming knows that some decent gaming gear can be super expensive, but it doesn't always have to be. Today we're looking at the High Rally F300 gaming mouse. This is a full featured gaming mouse and at only $16.99 on Amazon in the US. In my opinion, this is the best deal on Amazon right now. So here we go. So if you want to check this mouse out, I'll have a link down in the description. It'll take you right to the Amazon page. Also, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down in the comment section below. And I'll also put a link to a playlist up here that I have of other gaming peripherals. But for right now, let's get into the review. So first let's talk about the design and the build of the mouse. So the build of the mouse is all plastic, but it's a very solid plastic, does not feel cheap at all. The buttons have a really good clicky feel to them. They're not too hard, not too loose. And the cable coming out of the back is a nice braided cable. It's a good length. It gets to the back of your computer, no problem. Uh, it's not too long for me. It's actually a, a perfect length cable. I think Hyrally did a really good job on this one. So talking about those buttons, this mouse has a seven button design. Of course it has a left and right mouse button. And then the scroll wheel also clicks. So that's another button there. And then on the left, the thumb buttons, it has a forward and back. And then the last two buttons are a DPI switch and the color toggle. Those uh, buttons are all programmable and the left and right mouse buttons are really easy to get to. This mouse is really designed for somebody that uses the palm grip versus the claw grip. The claw grip, the buttons are a little bit tough to get to, but if you uh, use the palm grip like I do, you can get right to the buttons, no problem. I have no problem reaching them or clicking them during gameplay. I very seldom get a misclick or double clicks or anything like that. It's a really solid feel. So another thing about the design is the LED ribbon that goes around the outside of the mouse. This ribbon is programmable. You can set it to solid colors. You can have it pulsate through the colors. That's all programmable through the software that I'll get into in a minute. You can also select the colors using that LED switch that I mentioned a minute ago. And it just adds a nice premium feel to it and looks really, really nice on this mouse. So at its core, this mouse is just a really good plug and play mouse. You can plug it in. It'll get recognized by Windows, Mac or Linux. Shows up no problem. The tracking is fantastic on it. The buttons are great on it. But what sets this mouse apart is the gaming specific features that it provides. So some of those game specific features are a selectable DPI that you can select from 500 all the way up to 5000. So you can really dial it in and fine tune it for your playing style. And it also has a 100 IPS tracking speed for really smooth tracking. So you can get those fine movements in your first person shooters, battle royales, or whatever it is that you play. So one of the things that really sets this mouse apart from a lot of other gaming mice, and especially in this price category, is the really good software that's available for it that lets you go in and fine tune all the settings. So let's jump right into that software right now and give you a quick tour. All right, so this is the High Rally Gaming Mouse software, and as you can see, it's broken up into a few different areas. We're gonna go over those real quick. The first one is the button settings, and this shows all nine buttons. Now, I mentioned earlier that there were seven buttons, and the other two come in with the scroll up and scroll down. Those are programmable as well. So you can come into any of these buttons, like say you wanna remap the left button, you just come in to number one, uh, select what you want it to do, and that changes the function for that mouse. It's really easy and very, very customizable. Next setting is the LED settings. We have a few different options for the LED on the mouse. We have standard mode, neon mode, ripple mode, and color cycle. And going into these different modes, it has functions specific to that mode. Like the ripple mode shows, uh, you know, you can change how fast it ripples. You can change it from top to bottom or bottom to top. In the macro manager, I don't typically have any macros set up, but if you want to assign a macro or a common task or you know, a common activity inside a game, you can assign those to a mouse. You just set them up in here, assign them to whatever button you want, and you're good to go. The next settings are the DPI settings, and this is really nice because you can have five settings set up and then toggle between them using that DPI button on the mouse. Next is the advanced settings, and in here you can change things like the double click speed, the wind pointer speed, and another one of those gaming specific features that I was talking about is this polling rate. You can change it from 125 to 500 to 1000. I guess that's not really gaming specific. You can use that in day-to-day -day activities, but it's really used for fine tuning how you play your games and what, what uh, polling rate and DPI combination works best for your gameplay style. Down at the bottom, we have five different profiles that we can save all our settings to and then recall later. So as we make changes to these different 
tabs here, we can save that profile and then uh, come into profile two, make changes, save that one. And then whenever we want to activate that profile, we just select it, apply it, and we're good to go off to play our games. So that's about it. And like I said, even though this is a budget mouse, this is one of the nicest control software that I've seen for a gaming mouse. It does everything you want and it's really nicely laid out. So taking into account the price, performance, and features of this mouse, I honestly believe this is the best deal on Amazon right now. If you're looking for a really solid gaming mouse, I can definitely recommend this. Even if you're not a gamer and you're just looking for a great mouse, I can recommend this as well. You can't go wrong with that price. If you're a programmer or you're into esports and that kind of stuff, I don't know if this mouse is gonna work for you. I don't play it nearly that level, but for the vast majority of people that are gaming out there like myself this is a fantastic option if you're looking to upgrade your game a little bit and get a new gaming mouse in fact i just bought a second one for my second setup here i liked it so much thanks so much for stopping by uh, again i'll have a link down in the description if you want to check it out please leave any comments and come see me on twitter instagram and facebook love meeting new people on there and chatting with them and i will see you next time